Some of the challenges I had were that I was so underdeveloped. I was the smallest lad in the age group by a mile. A lot of my early years in, in the academy were trying to cope physically with like lads that were bigger than me all the time. Always had that self-belief no matter what happened. I always believed that I'd do it. And in them dark times, that probably helped me through it. I'm happy that I've had that mindset and I'll always have that mentality. I'm Keenan Shrewsbury Hall. I'm a central midfielder and I play for Leicester City Football Club. When I was about four or five years old, I wanted to play in like a team because I was so young. There was no team that would take me. There was no Sunday league in this area that would take me. Eventually, the team where I'm from, Shepshire Dynamo, I was only five and they was like, yeah, you know what, we'll, like, we'll sign you for like the under sevens. So from the age of five and five to six, I was playing for the under sevens and I only played there for a year. And then at eight years old, I signed for, for Leicester City. I got scouted by Leicester. The rest is history. It was just a, a roller coaster. That's probably how I describe it, a roller coaster, because you will never get an easy, smooth ride, no matter who you are. Um, when I first got offered my scholarship, it was an amazing moment. It was so much hard work. When I got offered it, it was like a proud moment of like, you know what, it's paying off. And seeing my family's faces when I told them, look, I've just been offered this, they've just been offered that, and they're like, oh my God, like, it's just it's something you will never forget. You get this at the start of your scholarship, which it's probably the first thing I ever got like, as a footballer, so that's special, man. That's one of the most special ones. Yeah, your family have to sacrifice so much. They're sacrificing it, not knowing what's going to happen. They don't know if you're going to make it. They're just probably doing it because they can see how excited and happy you are. I obviously always tell them, look, I'm just thankful. I can't really tell you how thankful I am. I can see firsthand how much effort's gone into what they did to help me, and I think I would feel a bit disappointed and almost like a failure if I, if I didn't give them back what they, help, what they helped me with. So When I first signed my pro, I was probably thinking that like, they must see something in me now to be able to push myself to get to the top because otherwise I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be signing a professional deal. I think it was just one day at the start of the season, I think there was a list on the changing room doors of the lads and whose boots they got. So I'm looking through, I'm looking through and I got to my name and I see N'Golo Kante. So N'Golo Kante was flying at the time. He was unbelievable, I thought. I need to make sure this guy's boots are absolutely spotless every day because if he starts playing bad, I don't want anyone to blame it on like his boots are dirty or whatever. So I'd see him around the training ground every so often and like he'd be like thanking me like for his boots because he's such a nice guy. When I first trained in the first team, I had a big like reality check. I went into the first team and I just get I get hit straight away or the ball get taken off me like that, and I just I'd, I'd look at it and I'd go, you ain't got this time. This is training. Imagine what it's like in a game in the first team. I think the training finished and the 23s manager came up to him and was like, look, you might want to get like your match kit ready for tomorrow. So that night I came home, was buzzing, got everything ready. A young lad seeing all these first team players clap you for making your debut. Like you don't have to do that. And that was just, that would be a, a moment that stick, sticks in my mind forever. And yeah, I loved it. Yeah, Brendan Rodgers is arguably one of the most important people I've had in my career and he's gave me every other debut I've pretty much made. That's one I got in the FA Cup. One of my other favourite ones was just getting the development player of the season. That was my first probably award that I got at Leicester where it made me think, yeah, oh, I can kick on now and, and try and get another one. I signed on loan on the Monday and we had Wickham away on the Tuesday came on at half time, scored, played well. It was a perfect start for me and then I started playing every game since then. In like the 50th minute, I've gone up for a header. Like, in, he was like in front of him, he was like centre back behind him, him and then me, because I played midfield. I've gone up for a header and he's just, he's, he's put his arm there and I'm, I'm pretty sure I've gone about two metres. Like, I've, he's dashed me and I'm thinking, I've never had like the feeling of that ever. I've got a lot of growing up to do here. I've been dashed three metres in my first five minutes of senior football. I was still at that point where I wanted to get games. I'd only played 10 games because Covid cut it short at Blackpool. No one has a Scooby who I am, but I'm gonna, by the end of the loan, people are gonna look at me and go, like, he was one of the best like, midfielders in the league. Ended up getting five, six awards. Uh, Love for the Luton fans, they were they were so good to me. They gave me better confidence. They were the nicest people in the world and I love that loan. It was it was class. Because that season, bro, after Luton, 
six weeks, I didn't stop football. Like I didn't, I didn't have a holiday. It's because I did so well and I knew I was so close to the first team. I thought, I'm not going anywhere. I was in the training ground for six weeks, bro, every day. And I remember the first day back, I came in on the yo-yo test. I came like first in the first team. So it's them little things that you never know that could help me. I had so many people in that summer say to me, what are you going to do this season? He ain't play, you ain't going to get him playing the first team. You're not going to get in front of the midfielders regularly. And yeah, I had to be a bit patient at the start, but I knew when I got my chance and I was going to grab it with both hands. And that's what I did. And it ended up being a great season. So yeah, I knew I had to take my chance. A lot of things have to be sacrificed to be a footballer. And one of them things is like, time off and time away from my family. I spent Christmas Day in a hotel room on my own. First game I came on properly for a long period was Southampton away. I came on at half time and I did really well. We played really well in the second half and, and that was the game that catapulted it for me. And luckily for me, it, I did all them things right and I ended up doing really well and playing most of the games for the rest of this season. I dreamt of that moment, scoring my first Premier League goal. I remember looking up to the crowd and after I scored, and just seeing like my mum and that cheering and my dad. And I just thought, like, look how happy they are, man. It was like one of them moments where you just thought, ah, oh, like we did it, you know what I mean? So all the things that you need to be top, a top level person in your field, motivation, determination, self-belief. I feel like the main advice I have is always believe in yourself and work hard because they're the only things that you can control. You have to control the controllables how hard you work, how much you believe in yourself, how motivated you are, how determined you are, all them things. I do regularly like speak to some of the younger lads in the academy because I was that person. Say, look, things won't go your way, but as long as you're doing everything you can, that's all you can do. You'll never have any regrets. You know what? I, don't, I wouldn't change one thing. I would not change one thing about my journey because everything that's happened has brought me to where I am today. The three words that would sum up my career would be mentality, roller coaster, intense. For me, it's not about the money, it's about trying to do as much as you can in the game of football. It's exciting times ahead, hopefully. Even though I had to be patient for my opportunity, I did everything in my power to make sure when it came that I took it.